Spartans coming off that 78-74 loss against NC State. But meanwhile, Kennesaw State only scored two points in the fourth quarter of their loss yesterday against Idaho State, losing 60 to 49. Spartans trying to head back home with a four and one record if they can come out with the victory today. And then they've got another tough ACC opponent in the Big Ten ACC Challenge with Virginia coming to the Breslin Center next uh, next Wednesday. This next Wednesday is our next home game on November 28th. That's a seven o'clock tip. We'll be on the air at 6.45 for that. Michigan State in the uh, road green uniforms, white lettering on the front and the back, uh, white numbers as well. Kennesaw State in the all white unis with the uh, black lettering outlined in gold. We are ready for basketball from the Cancun Challenge. The ball is tossed in the air and the tip is won by the Kennesaw State University Owls. Keaton Gologly with you, so happy to have you along today as the Spartans and Owls duke it out. Street drives from the right side and has the ball poked out from behind by Shea Colley, who put on a tremendous defensive performance yesterday against NC State. Amani Johnson will inbound. She's on the right baseline for Kennesaw State, which will begin working from left to right. Inbounds pass to the uh, to the left of the lane for Abram, back to Johnson, who traveled as she accepted that pass, and it's an early turnover by Kennesaw State. MSU basketball, their first possession now today. Mia Cloud at the top of the key. Throws it to Shea Cauley on the left wing. Then into the corner. Here's McCutcheon with a three. Bring it up. She knocks down the first of the day. Now some full court pressure by MSU. We saw them use that late yesterday against NC State. It certainly helped them uh, coming from behind. Monty Johnson into the front court, swarm, doubled, and it's taken away by Taryn McCutcheon. McCutcheon in transition, gives to Shea, and on the left side, she lays it in easy. Quickly, a 5-0 lead for Michigan State. 45 seconds into the game, more full court pressure by MSU. Well, they're turning the heat up early today. We didn't see full court pressure from MSU until very late last night. And now another steal by MSU, this time by Shea Cauley. She throws to Nia Cloudon in the left corner. Bend to the elbow, and back to Nia up at the top of the key. Spartans up 5-0, knocking down their first two shots. Cloudon kicks to Cauley, her three, book it. A couple of threes by the Spartan point guards. Shea Cauley with five early points. She's looking for her third straight 20 point contest. More pressure by MSU, this time Kennesaw State breaks it, but a pass in the front court is out of the reach of Kamaya Street. Another turnover by Kennesaw State. And just like that already, a timeout by Kennesaw State. Spartans start with an 8-0 run. They lead 8-0 with 8.39 to go in the first. Back after this on the Spartan Network. Kennesaw State with a foul coming out of the timeout. So Michigan State basketball up 8-0 with 8.30 to go in the first quarter. The cloud at the top, bounces to Shea Cauley on the left wing, throws it into the post games. And she traveled as she accepted that pass. Turnover by MSU. More pressure by Michigan State. They hadn't busted that out all year until the NC State game last night. Kennesaw State breaks it this time. Poole has it at the top of the key. Now to Johnson. Around to Kamaya Street on the right wing. Into the post pool. Works on Shea. Turnaround jump shot. No good. Nice defense. 
Jenna Allen the rebound. Ahead to Nia Clowden. With the dribble into the lane, falls away with a hook shot, and that rims home. Nice shooter's roll by Nia Clowden, who had a very quiet day yesterday. She gets her first shot to go tonight. And now past the backcourt, gets away. McCutcheon picks it up. She misses a three from the left wing, and the rebound grabbed by Kennesaw State. It's 10-0 at Michigan State. They've got the uh, scoreboard wrong. Yeah, it's 10-0. It says 8-2 on the scoreboard, but again, MSU in front and Kennesaw State has not scored yet. 7.30 to go in the first quarter. They put that last bucket by Nia Clowden up on the uh, Kennesaw State side. Now they fixed it. Inside, Abram tries a hook shot. That's no good. Rebound tipped out of bounds by Kennesaw State. And it is Michigan State basketball, and Shea Colley is banged up. I did not see what the play was or how she went down. She is on all fours right now and in a lot of pain and then pounded the floor. Aaron McCutcheon right there with her, patting her on the back. I'm not sure where the injury is. Luann Jefferson and Susie Merchant are both there. Yeah, I do not know where the injury came from or how she went down. And she is not putting any weight on her right leg now as she gets up. Yeah, no weight on that right leg. She suffered that knee injury last season that kept her out about six games, and that's really when the season took a big dip for Michigan State. That was right after the Spartans had defeated uh, Maryland in that big upset. Yeah, I think she's holding that right knee, and she is in a ton of pain. That is a terrible sign for Michigan State. So she'll take a seat, and now Michigan State goes back to work up 10 nothing with 7.20 to go in the first quarter. Nia Clowden. Goes it to Tori Osmond on the right wing. Comes left around the Allen screen. Flings to Clowden. Toss inside to Allen in the post on the right side. Picks up her dribble and gets rid of it beyond the arc. Over to McCutcheon left wing. Drives and bounces it into Gaines. It's through her hands. Loose on the floor. And a whistle and a jump ball. It'll stay with Michigan State. Nia Clowden will inbound for MSU with nine on the shot clock. Toss into the right corner. Osmond, a three. It's short. Rebound tipped and one by MSU. Now McCutcheon fires away from downtown off the heel of the iron. She missed it, but another offensive rebound for Michigan State. Clowden drives and kicks. McCutcheon pubs the three, drives into the lane and gives to Clowden. Her three is up and in. Nia Clowden, five early points. She's now three of nine from beyond the arc to start her young career. Pressure by MSU, and the ball is tipped out of bounds by Tori Osmond. Spartans off to a 13-0 run to start this one. 6.36 to go first quarter. Jenna Allen will take a seat. Sydney Cook's out on the floor. Allen getting her first breather. And she has not scored nor taken a shot in the first few minutes. More pressure in the backcourt by Michigan State. Five seconds to break the pressure. Osmond throws it ahead. Excuse me, Abram rather. Abram throws it ahead. And now uh, Kennesaw State breaks the pressure. Johnson beyond the arc on the right wing. Dribbles up to the top of the key. Goes to Kamaya Street, right side. Now into the post pool. Started by Gaines. Out to Avram. Near the elbow. Has picked up her bounce and throws to Johnson with four to shoot. Johnson drives. Gets cut off on the baseline. Puts up a contested shot. It's short. An air ball. And it's Spartan basketball. Now Shea Colley has gone back to the locker room with the trainer Luann Jefferson. Seemed to be uh, tugging at her right knee. So hopefully it's not serious. But that is a, a scary sight for Spartan fans. Shea has been playing on another level this year. And we remember what kind of void was left when she was lost last year to a knee injury. Gaines has her pass tipped. Sydney Cooks grabs it. She skips it out to Nia Cloud in the left wing. To the left baseline. Here's Gaines with a long two. That's good. Victoria Gaines knocks it down. That's the type of shot Susie wants to see Coco more often. MSU out to a 15-0 run to start the game. A drive and a shot, no good. And we got a foul underneath. Osmond tried to take the charge. That was Brianna Hoover on the drive. And uh, now she'll get two free throws here. Foul goes on Tori Osmond, her first. When you're in the Lansing area, stay at the Lansing Courtyard by Marriott. It's just minutes from MSU. Call 517-482-0500. 
Sam had one scare from Shea already this year when she had her ankle stepped on earlier this season. But she was able to come back and was fine. First shot at the foul line is good from Brianna Hoover. Now the second is through as well. Those are the first two points for Kennesaw State. Spartans up 15 to two with 5.36 to go in the first. Gaines ahead along the left sideline to McCutcheon. Her pass inside is tipped and it's a turnover by Michigan State. Now Amani Johnson running the other way. Throws it up on the right wing, hands to Kamaya Street. Drives, pulls up from 10 out, the jumper too strong. Rebound tipped to Nia Clowden. Spartans with the ball up 15 to two. Up to McCutcheon left wing. She drives into the left post. Hand off to Sydney Cooks and it's stolen by Poole. Back-to-back -back turnovers there by Michigan State. We hit the five minute mark of the first quarter. Monty Johnson out near the half court line. Clings to Kamaya Street on the right wing. Left around to screen, gets to the top of the key. Her pass inside is picked off by Tori Osmond. She's into the front court. Pastored by Street, then it's knocked out of bounds and will stay with Michigan State. Visit the Spartan Bookstore in the International Center or at various locations around campus for authentic Nike team apparel or shop online at spartanbook.com. Gaines off, Allen on. Gaines two points. Allen looking for her first point so far today. Cloudon drives from the left wing, gets into the lane, puts up the shot. It's short, but draws the foul. That is charged to Gianola, her first. And Cloudon will go to the line where so far she's uh, shot at a 69% clip from the free throw line earlier this year. Cloud, the Maryland Gatorade Player of the Year last season, top 50 recruit according to uh, ESPN coming into college this season. And started each of the first now five games for Michigan State in her career. First free throw is good. Cloud off to a nice offensive start so far. She has six early points. Spartans have a 14 point lead as Taryn McCutcheon will take a, a deep breath. Next free throw is good. Now Luann Jefferson back out of the uh, out of the locker room now and Jake Holly remains in the locker room after an apparent knee injury early in this game. Luann currently uh, giving the report here to the coaching staff. It's a three from the right wing. That's no good. Nia Holly has the rebound for Michigan State. Cloudon into the front court, pulls up at the elbow, her jumper. Off the heel of the iron, no good. Rebound tipped out, Jenna Allen wins it. An offensive rebound for MSU as they lead 17 to two. Four minutes to go, first quarter. And a foul. Gianola came up, was very tight against uh, Sydney Cooks, and they're gonna call the foul on Gianola, who actually got hit a little bit as Cooks uh, caught her with the elbow while she was moving the ball across, but Gianola didn't give her enough space. And that is her second foul. MSU to inbound to our left. So they lead 17 to two against Kennesaw State. 4.07 left first quarter. Nia Cloud on the left wing. Long around to Osmond right side. To the right elbow, Allen. Draws the double, gives to Osmond. Her three is good. Corey Osmond knocking it down from downtown, getting some early minutes today. She has uh, started the season four of seven from the field and two of four from beyond the arc. 20 to two, Michigan State in front. Long pass ahead to Hoover. She drives right in and draws a foul on Nia Holland. Spartans are seven of 11 to start the day so far. Nia Cloudon leading the way with seven points. Michigan State up 20 to two, 3.40 to go uh, against the Atlantic Stones, Kennesaw State. Taryn McCutcheon meant to check back in for Michigan State. First free throw is good for Hoover. Kennesaw State still looking for their first field goal of the game. Yesterday they went just one of 12 in the fourth quarter in their loss uh, against Idaho State. Second free throw for Hoover. Is good as well, she's four of four from the line. And those were all four points for Kennesaw State in this first period. 20 to four, Michigan State on top, 3.40 to go in the first. Full court pressure by Kennesaw State. Nia Holly across the timeline. Then her pass is picked off by Kamaya Street. Two on one Street to the rack on the left side. Missed the layup. Rebound tipped by Holly. Recovered by Poole. She turns around with a jump shot on the left block and knocks it down. And that is the first field goal for Kennesaw State. Osmond tries another three. In and out. Swirled away. But Nia Holly has the rebound. 
Trying to get into the post to Allen. She does, and then an offensive foul. She stuck out her left elbow and caught pool around the shoulder or jaw area. First foul on Jenna Allen. Spartan setting up pressure again. Sorry, Hendrickson getting ready to get checked into this ball game. Her father made the trip down. Grabbing the, uh, grabbing the camera phone now. They'll get the action. Pass to the backcourt. He is tipped away by Tori Osmond, who's putting in some good minutes so far today in the early going. And now she'll take a, a deep breath. And we'll get some hard-earned high fives from her teammate, our teammates. And Claire Hendrickson into the game now. 20 to 6, Michigan State in front, just under three to play the first quarter. Poole has it up at the top of the key. Flung over to the right wing. Mann has it. Now to Johnson. Left around to screen. Throws to Street. Four to shoot. Kamaya Street inside. Lays it off the glass. A shifty move by Kamaya Street, who is a terrific scorer. 20 to 8, Spartans in front. Two and a half to play in the first. Cooks steps into a three. That's no good. Nia Holly has the rebound tipped out of her hands and will stay with Michigan State. Spartans are four of nine from beyond the arc today. They've been a little quiet from downtown the last two ball games. Touch into inbound, flings it out high to Jenna Allen. She hauls it in over her shoulder like a wide receiver. Just pass to McCutcheon, her three ball. That's no good, and it's off the back of the iron. Kennesaw State with the ball, straight out to the left wing. She's turned herself into one of the most prolific Division I scorers for Kennesaw State in their program history. Bob into Poole on the left block, draws the double from Cooks and Allen, and she travels. Kennesaw State advancing from Division II to Division I in 2006, 14th year as a Division I program. And uh, right now, Kamaya Street has the highest career points per game average in their Division I history. Full court pressure by MSU, a double team on McCutcheon. Gaines gets rid of it out to Claire Hendrickson, but Street was able to knock it free. Now it's loose on the deck. Hendrickson lays out for it, and a jump ball forced. And that'll give the ball back to Kennesaw State. Yeah, Cloud set to check back in. She's off to a good start today. Seven points, two of three from the field. Again, a little quiet yesterday from Nia. She's just a freshman, so you're going to have the normal ups and downs. Uh, went just three of seven from the field yesterday. No assists, four turnovers. But again, looking sharp in the early going today. Already a pair of assists without a turnover this evening. Spartans up 20 to eight, 145 to go first quarter. Toss into the post, pool on the left block, back to the basket, out to the top of the key, and then around the street. Her left wing three is too strong. Loose on the deck, Gaines hustling for the loose ball, and she wins it. Cloudon in the backcourt, weaves through traffic, down to Allen running to the rim. She makes one dribble and then draws the foul from behind. Nice strong move in the post by Jenna Allen, and she will go to the line for two free throws. Bond with the foul. Thanks to our game day staff of the CBRE Martin Spartan Network Studios in East Lansing. CBRE Martin, your full service commercial real estate company. Lexi Mann with that first foul. And now uh, Jenna Allen will go to the line and her first free throw is good. Allen's been great at the line in the early going this season. 88% from the free throw line. Pauses. Poole was tying her shoes, and now Allen lining up the second. That one's through as well. She hits them both. Those are the first two points for Jenna Allen. And now the collegiate debut for Kayla Bellis. Freshman from Ithaca, Michigan. Did not play last year after an ACL injury. Pass to the backcourt, tipped away. And now today getting cleared to be able to play, and she makes her collegiate debut in the Cancun Challenge. An exciting moment for Kayla Bellis. She, uh, we were told, and according to all the reports, she would have been much in the mix for the Michigan Miss Basketball Award conversation last year, had it not been for the injury. And now a turnover on a steal by McCutcheon. She drives and kicks to Nia Cloud in the left corner. Out to Claire Hendrickson, and then to Cloud at the top of the key. And off to Claire Hendrickson, right wing. Chest pass to McCutcheon, top of the key. Bob DeBellis at the free throw line. She drives, leans in, banks it, no off the window, and then a foul on Gaines coming over the back, and she knew it. First foul on Victoria Gaines. Yeah, 
Inbounds pass to the backcourt. Full court pressure from Michigan State. And ooh, nearly stolen by Gaines, but Kamaya Street hangs on, then throws ahead to Johnson. She's on the drive, gets inside, lays it up, no good. Offensive board, back up good, the foul. Dallas with the foul. Poole got that put back. Four points for Alexis Poole. Averages 13 a game. Pulls down eight boards a game. And she's pretty darn good free throw shooter as well. Especially for a front, front court player at 73%. Spartans up 22-10. Free throw is good. So she completes the three-point play. Tori Osmond back out on the floor. Claire Hendrickson will take a break. Osmond put in some good minutes to start this ball game. Pressure here from Kennesaw State. It's been a fast-paced contest. Spartans doubled up the Owls up 22-11 in the final minute of the first quarter. Bowden takes it across the timeline with plenty of time to spare. Throws over to Osmond, left wing. Trying to get into Bellis. Now to Gaines instead on the elbow. Puts it on the deck, drives to the right block, puts up a contested shot, no good. And a rebound grabbed by Kennesaw State. Shot clock off, final possession potentially here in the first quarter. Bobbed over to the left wing, we got a whistle. Leave a foul away from the ball. That's the case. And it is Caleb Bellis, her second. Here's the free throw. And that is good. First of two for Lexi Mann. Now Caleb Bellis will take a seat. Not the Kalichi debut you'd want. Two fouls in one minute, but got out on the floor after a long recovery, and we'll certainly see her again today. See if she can get her first collegiate points tonight. Free throw is good. Lexi Mann hits them both. Full court pressure here by uh, Kennesaw State. 18 seconds to go first quarter. Spartans up 22-13. Spartans looking for the final bucket of the first period. Touch into the front court. 10 seconds left in the first. Over to Nia Cloudon on the right wing. Seven seconds left. She drives. Pass inside. Tip free. It's stolen. Three seconds left. Across the half court line. One. Shot at the top. Short. And that's how the first quarter comes to a close. Spartan shoot local. 47%. And uh, they have a 22-13 lead against Kennesaw State after one quarter of play. We'll take a break. You're listening to the Fox Sports presentation of MSU Women's Basketball. At any of Reno's three locations, call or Spartans lead 22-13 against the Kennesaw State Owls. Michigan State trying to bounce back after a dramatic loss yesterday against the ranked NC State Wolfpack. Spartans got off to a 15-0 run to start this ball game. And they held at Kennesaw State just 25% from the field in the first quarter. Michigan State begins the second quarter with the basketball. Tori Osmond fires it into the lane. Cooks turns around with a jumper, and that's good. Sydney Cooks, her first two points today. Spartans didn't get much from Sydney yesterday. She has been battling that Achilles injury. I haven't seen the consistent play from Sydney yet in her sophomore season. 
Poole with the left elbow, tosses into the post, knocked away by Cooks, and Nia Cloud picks it up. Nia across the half-court line, hands off to Osmond on the left baseline, it went right through her hands. Just a little bit up above her head. She got her hands up, just snuck right through the mitts. And a turnover by MSU. It's an 11-point lead for Michigan State. 9.20 to go, second quarter. Poole picks up the bounce, throws it across the half-court line after more pressure in the backcourt by Michigan State. Tamaya Street on the right wing. Tosses up to the top, pass inside, picked off by Victoria Gaines. That's the sixth first-half steal by Michigan State. Out to the right wing, Nia Cloud into the post, Sydney Cooks, and that's turned over. I met a couple of them yesterday. Susie a little frustrated on the bench after that. Street drives on McCutcheon, lost the handle on the dribble, and it'll stay here with uh, Kennesaw State. Maya Street, a very dangerous scorer. A Sun Freshman of the Year last year, put up a 41 point game against Seton Hall earlier this year. Let's see, Kennesaw State Division I record. Amani Johnson uh, ready to inbound. Tossed right into Poole, she was all by herself. That's a defensive breakdown, and Poole lays it in. An easy bucket. Seven points now for Alexis Poole. Gains at the top, throws to the right wing, Cooks, turn around jumper, that's good. That bucket falling right after the uh, Kennesaw State Owls had made this a single digit game. Lead back to 11 for Michigan State, more pressure by MSU, and good pass by Street to break it. Now Lewis drives, gets cut off. Kennesaw State will reset. Street throws it up to the top of the key. Drive and a kick out to the left corner. Johnson tries to get inside. She lost the handle on it. Dribbled it off her foot. Eight sixteen to go. Second quarter. Michigan State up twenty six. 15. Press on by Kennesaw State. Gains to inbound. Throws it to uh, Sydney Cooks along the right sideline. And she takes across the half court line and draws a foul on Avram. Gave her a little bump along the sideline. Our game broadcast today is presented in part by Farm Bureau Insurance, Michigan Insurance Company. Holly ready to inbound for Michigan State. She only played six minutes yesterday. She'll get some more time today. Into the backcourt, give it to Nia Cloud. Dribbles across the half-court line. Takes it out to the left wing. Then throws to Sydney Cooks on the elbow. Cooks pops with a jumper. Missed it from an iron. The shot she'll knock down. She's got range there. Rebound to Kennesaw State. My streak guarded by Taryn McCutcheon. up the bounce on the right wing, flings it up to the top of the key. Over into the left corner now for Glanby. Up to Poole and then to the left wing street. Seven to shoot, Kamaya Street with the ball in her hand. Comes around the screen, gets to the mid post, kicks out to the right corner, two to shoot, a contested two, airballed it, the Spartans grab the board. Here's Tori Osmond, into the front court, pulls up on the right wing, picks up the dribble, throws into the mid post, Sydney Cooks. Pumps the jumper, gets rid of it to Osmond. Her three is up. That's no good. And the rebound grabbed by Kennesaw State. Street into the front court. Slows down on the left wing. Lobs into the post. Tough catch by Poole. And she gets the lay in. Alexis Poole now with nine points. She's a strong scorer. And we're seeing it early today. Seven minutes remaining in the first half. It's 26-17. Michigan State in front. It's led by as much as 18 today. Kennesaw State's got this game down into double or single digits a couple of times. Now it's passed to Cooks on the left elbow. Turns to the mid post, tries a jumper. That's no good. Sydney Cooks starting slowly from the field today. 26-17, Michigan State in front. Street across the half court line with the dribble. Over the left wing. Back up to the top of the key. And B flings to the right side. Here's Street on the drive. Pulls up just in front of the free throw line. The jumper is short. Spartan rebound. And then the pass to McCutcheon is stolen by Street. She puts up a jumper from the right block. No good. Rebound through Sydney Cook's hands. Another offensive board. And it's back up and in. Nice as Walker with her first two points. Spartans turned the ball over well, essentially twice on that possession. I don't know if that's how it'll go 
in the scorebook, but Cards twice had a chance to pick that ball the other way. And now it's a seven point game. A push here by Kennesaw State. MSU led by as much as 18. Ian Cloudon drives to mid post, gets inside, and draws the foul, got hit. And she'll get two free throws. Whether your moves across town or across the nation, the one team can help. But with the power of Berkshire Hathaway Home Services behind them, they can now do more than ever. Uh, ever. When you're in the market to buy, sell, or both, check out the Munn team online at munnteam.com. Jan and John Munn, serving buyers and sellers since 1985. They're realtors who get results. Nia yeah, Cloudon's first free throw is no good. Cloudon with seven points so far today. All of those were in the first quarter. Second free throw it is no good. She missed them both, and Kennesaw State has the board. Out to the left wing, Johnson. Toss up to the top to Key Street. 5.40 to go, second quarter. Michigan State in front, 26-19, and Nia Holly has been called for a foul underneath. Shea Colley is out of the locker room now. He went down very early today, just about three minutes into this game with an, uh, with an apparent knee injury. She has it taped up now, appears to be being iced. She's got it elevated, and she's sitting down at the edge of the bench. So, doesn't look like she'll come back into this ball game. I'm sure we won't be able to get any word until we get home. Hopefully it's nothing serious, but we won't know anything with uh, certainty until we get back into Michigan after this trip down to Mexico. Shot on the left side, no good, but another offensive rebound by Kennesaw State. Street drives, gets stripped by Taryn McCutcheon. She took it right out of her hand, and then she draws the foul on Kamaya Street, which is her second. It's a big foul here. Uh, Kennesaw State has uh, put together a little push. Gotten a, an 18-point deficit down into single digits, and now all the way down to seven. But their top scorer, their best player, will have to take a seat. Meanwhile, the Spartans' top scorer and best player, Shea Cauley, has that right knee being iced, has it elevated, and she will not be coming back into this ball game. Nia Cloud into the front court for Michigan State. Dribbles to the left wing, throws to Nia Holly, bounce pass inside to Allen, a little out of her reach. I'm not sure from here if that was kind of out of her reach or if it went through her hand. Either way, a turnover by MSU. Now they're 11. That number's a little high for Susie Merchant's liking. Kennesaw State to our right with the basketball, trying to cut into this deficit. Now pass stolen by Nia Cloud. Nia into the lane, steps through two defenders and banks it off the window with some spin. What a finish by Nia Cloud, who's up to nine first half points. She gets the steal and the lay in. Back to a nine point advantage for Michigan State. Amani Johnson out of the right wing, goes to street, extra pass to the left wing. One dribble, skip pass to the right corner, Johnson. He drives the lefty bounce, draws a double, gets through it, puts up a floater, no good. Allen had the board, and then it got it tipped out of her hands. And it'll be Kennesaw State basketball, or excuse me, Michigan State basketball. That'll take us to a break. Michigan State leads 28-19, 4.23 to go in the second quarter. Back after this, you're listening to the Fox Sports presentation of MSU Women's Basketball.
Michigan State basketball out of the timeout. They uh, lead 28-19 with 4.20 to go in the second quarter against Kennesaw State. Keegan Gilogoli with you in the Cancun Challenge. Michigan, Michigan State trying to bounce back after a loss yesterday. McCutcheon misses a top side three. The rebound grabbed by Kennesaw State. Pushed ahead along the left sideline to Imani Johnson. Bob over to Landby on the right wing. Couple dribbles, throws it back up to the top. Back to Landby. Hand off to Johnson, then to the top of the key again. Around the left wing. Get pass to the left side, Johnson. Seven to shoot, dribbles to her left, throws it up to the top, five to shoot. On the drive, into the mid post, Walker puts up a tough contested shot and it swirls away, a rebound tip and controlled by the Owls. An offensive rebound by Kennesaw State. Landby at the top, over to Walker on the right wing. And to Johnson top side. A lot of passing around the, around the perimeter here for Kennesaw State. Nine to shoot, right wing three, no good. Rebound, grabbed by Jenna Allen. Now to Nia Cloud into the front court. 3-10 left, second quarter. Michigan State up 28-19 over Kennesaw State. Over to McCutcheon on the right wing. Back to Nia Cloud, top of the key. She dribbles right, gets to the elbow, throws it back out to Allen, puts up a top side three, and buries it. First field goal for Jenna Allen. Is five total points today. 21-19, Michigan State in front. 2.45 to go in the first half. Walker on the right wing. Back up the top, Landy. Toss to Johnson, right corner. Dribbles to her left, throws into the post, and it's picked off by Taryn McCutcheon. That's the ninth steal of the first half for Michigan State, and the fourth for McCutcheon, and she fires a pass into Gaines, and she gets blocked from behind. Beautiful pass, though, by Terry McCutcheon. McCutcheon on the left wing, throws to Allen at the top, around to Nia Holland, back to Allen, tries another three ball. No good this time off the back iron, then a foul on the floor. Going the other way and charge to Victoria Gaines, her second. Download the SSN mobile app from Apple and Android phones and or for Apple and Android phones and tablets where the Spartans always play. Michigan State 31, Kennesaw State 19. 2-12 remaining in the second quarter. The top scorer for Kennesaw State, Kamaya Street, back into the ballgame, playing with two personal fouls. Sydney Cooks in as well for Gaines, who just picked up her second foul. Cook starting with four points, one rebound in nine minutes on two of five shooting. Monty Johnson into the front court. Chest pass to Kamaya Street on the right wing. One dribble, up to the top, out into the post pool. Out to the right corner street. Airs out a three, too strong, and McCutcheon tracks down the rebound. Taren out to the top, hands it off to Nia Cloud. Comes left around the screen. Drives from the left elbow. She gets blocked and fouled. And Nia Cloud will go back to the line. From your local Meyer, there's more to life than a game. And there's also the free game and the post game. Better get enough stats for all three. XO, XO, Meyer. Shea Colley out today. Injuring herself three minutes into this game. She's getting that right knee iced up on the inside of her knee. Getting help back to the locker room now after she was out supporting her teammates. First free throw for Mia Cloud is good, but now she'll head back as Michigan State will go meet her in the locker room at the, uh, at the next horn. Cloud, by the way, into double figures now. She's got 10 points. Second free throw for Mia is no good. And the rebound tipped out to Cloud, and she's got a clear path to the bucket, and she lays it in off the left block. Mia Cloud, 11 first half points. It's her per game average so far in the first four games of her collegiate career. Johnson throws it up the street at the top of the key. Back to Johnson, left wing. Steps inside the perimeter. Johnson gets cut off by Osmond. Nice defense. Round to the right side, Lewis puts up a three, and it's blocked by Nia Holly. And then a foul called. Cloud got bumped. 
And now she's in some pain as she went down, holding her left rib cage. Just looks like she got the wind knocked out of her and now being helped up. Isis Walker, her first foul. Yeah, just got hit in the rib cage, just uh, getting the wind knocked out of her. She's all right. Good minutes today for Mia Cloud and 12 points now. Johnson into pool on the right block, working on Allen, and she travels. Cloud 12 points today, three rebounds, three assists, a steal, four or five from the field. Although she is, is three of six in the free throw line. Thirty-four nineteen, Michigan State in front, one oh nine to go, second quarter. Cloud in the backcourt. Takes it across the timeline. Standing on the center logo. Throws it to fellow freshman Tori Osmond. Now she passes into the post. And it's out of the reach of Jetta Allen. 12 turnovers here by MSU in the first half. That number's a little high. They forced the 15 by Kennesaw State. 34-19, Michigan State in front. Just under a minute to go, second quarter. Johnson across the half court line for Kennesaw State, working from left to right. Over the street, then to the top of the key for Lewis. Now to Johnson right wing. Up the street, bounce pass to Johnson, and stolen by Nia Holly. Nia running in transition ahead to Osmond, steps through, lays it no, but a foul on Amani Johnson. Corey Osmond will head to the line. Today, her fourth career game with Michigan State. Didn't get in the game yesterday. So far, three points, a rebound, an assist, and a steal. So, strong minute so far from Tori Osmond. Ten minutes of play so far today. First free throw is good for Osmond. Hey, check out MSU FCU's Financial 4.0 mobile app and learn how to make your money work for you. Osmond's second free throw is no good. Cooks had the rebound for a moment, but it's tipped out of her hands. Grabbing again by Kennesaw State. And Ronnie Johnson has it. Shot clock and game clock nearly identical at the end of this first half. Here's Peyton Lewis, a right corner three. That's no good. And the rebound tip three and a foul on the ground by Michigan State. It's Tori Osmond's second foul. Spartans up 35-19, 16 seconds left in the first half, and uh, Kennesaw State will inbound underneath their own basket. Johnson throws it in high. Street brings it in just a step away from the half-court line. Got it by Sidney Cooks. Throws it to Johnson at the top. Seven seconds left. Johnson drives, got blocked by Nia Holly. Four seconds left, McCutcheon ahead to Osmond. Two seconds left, gets into the lane, lays it up. That is good, and that's how the first half will come to a close. Defense turns into offense to end the first half of play between Michigan State and Kennesaw State. All right, our Spartan assistant coach interview is presented by McLaren Health Plan. Getting set to be joined by uh, Maria Fantana Rosa here. Uh, coach, uh, 37-19 through the first half of play. What do you think of the offensive performance so far? Leading 37-19 after a first uh, the first half of play. Take a break after this timeout on the Spartan Network.
Holly is out. We do not expect her ret to return in this ball game. So uh, in starting her uh, in her place in the starting uh, lineup to begin the second half is Sydney Cooks. All right, we are ready to go in the second half of play between Michigan State and Kennesaw State. Maya Street has the basketball, lobs it into the mid posts. Abram fires it to the left block, problem a little underneath, and it's kicked back out to the left wing. Now Poole gets to the free throw line, throws it up to the top for Street, drives and kicks along the, uh, the lane, and it gets knocked out of bounds. Eight seconds to shoot here for Kennesaw State as they prepare to inbound. And they're gonna mop up a wet spot on the floor. It's been very humid here, not to brag, but it has been quite hot in the mid 80s. That humidity has caused some moisture and slip, uh, slips uh, on the floor over the last uh, couple of days. And Johnson ready to inbound on the baseline. He throws it high out toward the half-court line, and Street goes back to uh, track it down in the backcourt. Four seconds to shoot. Street on the drive, kicks him to the corner. Johnson puts up a three. That's no good. Would have been good. And she got it to go, and then uh, pass in the backcourt is tipped out of bounds. So still with Michigan State, though. Cooks ready to inbound. Nearly threw McCutcheon's hands uh, thanks to some pressure from Amani Johnson, but Spartans able to maintain the possession. Nia Cloudon with the basketball on the right wing. Throws it to Jenna Allen near the elbow. Back to Cloudon who comes to her left, pulls up just inside the free throw line and knocks down the jumper. And Nia Cloudon has 14 points today. 39-19, Spartans have their largest lead of the day. Johnson gets it inside, Poole steps through with the left hand and lays it off the window around Sydney Cooks. Tough take by uh, Alexis Poole. She's into double figures now. Nia Cloud with the basketball. She gives to Cooks, and her three is good. Sydney Cooks knocks it down from the right wing. Came in knocking down 44% of her three-point field goals this season. And now some more, more moisture needs to be uh, mopped up off the floor here. And yeah, one more spot over by the elbow. Now that's taken care of, we'll get back to work. By the way, that last jumper for Nia Cloud matching her career high, 14 points, which she set in her first collegiate game against Bowling Green. Bob to the right elbow, inside pool, kicks out to the right corner street, on the drive, into the lane, kicks it out, around to the left corner. Johnson with a three, that's good. Doesn't hit too many of those. Those are the first points for Abani Johnston, who averages eight a game. Now long pass in transition, and Jenna Allen could not track it down before it went out of bounds. MSU up 42-24. Street at the top. Flings to the right wing, Johnson. Back up to the top of the key, Walker. Drives and kicks into the left corner. Street with a standing dribble, gives it back to Johnson. Seven to shoot, she tries another corner three. This one no good, and Victoria Gaines has the rebound. There's Nia Cloud, over to Sydney Cooks. Inside, Allen by herself, lays it short, got the rebound, back up, no. One more time, no! Boy, Jenna Allen, some close range shots there, none of them went through. And now a steal by McCutcheon, Sydney Cooks by herself, and she lays it in easy. Five points in the second half for Sydney Cook. She's got nine total. Spartan lead back to 20, up 44-24. Street on the left side. Going up to the top of Key Walker. Back to Street, right wing. And Gaines with a foul, trying to knock that ball away. 
We're connected to you today through our CBRE Martin Spartan Network Studios in East Lansing. CBRE Martin, your full service commercial real estate company. Out on the right wing, Street gives it to Johnson at the top. Over to the left corner. Walker helps wrap it around the perimeter. Street drives the free throw line. Back out to Walker, who drives from the left wing. Pulls up left of the lane. That shot is short. Trying to go around Caleb Bellis, and then a foul call. Osmond goes down hard, but she's okay. Foul is on Alexis Poole. Saw State lining up, lining up some uh, pressure here. Long pass behind it. They let Tori Osmond slip behind the defense. In transition by herself. She lays it up and in. Tori Osmond, eight points today. And a timeout called by Kennesaw State. It'll take us to a break as well. 6.25 to go third quarter. Michigan State up 46-24 on the Spartan Network. Inbounds to uh, Amani Johnson. Takes the ball off the floor for Kennesaw State. We come from uh, Kennesaw, Georgia, just north of Atlanta. Coming out of the Atlantic Sun. First ever meeting between these two programs. Johnson dribbling on the right wing. Throws it up to the top. Knocked away by Nia Cloud in transition. Working on street. Lays it up. That's good. And a new career high for the freshman, Nia Cloud. 16 points. All into the left wing. Now down to the posts. Out to the left elbow. One dribble. Kick out to the right corner. Johnson fires a three. That's good. Second three by Amani Johnson. Had just five of those in her first six collegiate games. McCutcheon up to Nia Cloud. Then to Caleb Bellis on the left corner. Back to Cloud. Right wing three. That's off the front iron. And Poole has the rebound. Johnson takes him to the front court. Michigan State leads 48-27 with 5.20 to go in the third quarter. Walker over the street on the left wing. Drives and stops. Kicks to the top. Walker steps into the elbow. Bounce pass underneath. And it is out of the reach of Carlota Gianola. A turnover by Kennesaw State. Hopping up some more moisture now. Michigan State ready to inbound against more full court pressure. Nia Clowden brings it in, and now they call off the dog. At the midway point of the third quarter. Touching on the right wing. Up to Osmond, top of the key. The right elbow, Bellis. Pastor puts it on the deck, going to the cup, puts it up, got blocked from behind. Osmond had it, and then she got uh, fouled by Alexis Poole. 
That should take us to a break, and it does. 4.55 to go, third quarter, Michigan State over Kennesaw State, 48-27. to 27. You're listening to the Fox Sports presentation of MSU Women's Basketball. Cast is presented in part by Farm Bureau Insurance, Michigan's insurance company. Spartans on top, 48-27. A new career high today for Nia Cloud on the offensive end. She's got 16 points on six of eight shooting, four boards, three rebounds, a pair of uh, pair of steals. Both of those have actually turned into points for her. So some nice minutes from uh, Nia Cloud tonight. Spartan basketball. Bobby to Caleb Bellis on the right post, and she lost the handle on the basketball. Here comes Kamaya Street in transition, and she gets blocked from behind by Tori Osmond. Osmond, another freshman, putting in good minutes today. An emphatic block. Spartans done a great job on Kamaya Street, the uh, offensive leader for Kennesaw State. She's got just two points so far today. Street's got it on the left wing. Dribbles around the screen to her right, takes it up to the top. Now tossed into the corner, Johnson. Bounce into the post pool. Back to the basket, double team, no good on the shot. And Bellis has the rebound. Now here's McCutcheon. Tossed to Nia Cloud. Up to the top to uh, Taryn McCutcheon. Now to Cloud in right wing. Down to Osmond left side. Into Bellis at the elbow. And off back to McCutcheon. She curls into the lane, kicks the game. Here's a right corner three ball. Bam! Victoria Gaines hits it from the right side. She's got five points today. Spartans up 51-27 with four minutes to go in the third quarter. Johnson on the left wing for Kennesaw State. In the middle of the lane, a jumper no good, and Osmond has the rebound. Goes ahead to Cloud on the left sideline. Now drives, cut off on the block. Takes it back out to top of the key, Wiseman. Gains into the post, Osmond makes a contested catch and lays it in, and she continues to add to her career high for the first time. Tori Osmond into double figure. She's got 10. 53-27, Spartans in front, 3.20 to go in the third. Over to the right wing, then a handoff to Johnson on that side. Back up to Street. Down to the left side for Katie Head or Kate Head. Over the top, over to Johnson, right corner. Into the mid post, and it's picked off. A pass picked off by Kayla Bellitz. Clouding up to the top, over to Tori Osmond, left wing. Out to the post, Gaines. Great positioning, and she lays it in easy, uncontested. Seven points for Victoria Gaines today. 55 27, Michigan State, 2.45 to go in the third quarter, and a timeout called by Kennesaw State. Nissan Road, the best drive on game day. Nissan, proud partner of Spartan Athletics. Now Michigan State leading big here, 55-27, but how about the men today? Taking on the uh, Texas Longhorns in the Continental Tire Las Vegas uh, Invitational. What a wild game that was. The, uh, the men today had fallen behind by 19. Came back to win by 10 with a 42-point second half. This coming on the heels of a 20-point victory last night against number 17, UCLA. So 
big performances the last two days from MSU on the men's side, and they are now five and one. So kudos to the men. And Jeremy Langford, 29 points, and Cassius Winston with uh, 20 points today, 10 assists, so double-double for Cassius Winston. Kennesaw State basketball, lob into the post, and a foul on Sydney Cooks trying to knock it away. First foul on Sydney. My Street to inbound on the baseline. We're looking, and she just gets it in ahead of the five count. Pool in the mid post right side against down. Puts it on the deck, dribbles underneath, kicks out to the left corner, but out of the reach of everybody. And a turnover by Kennesaw State. Twenty-first turnover by KSU. 2.37 left third quarter. One of our officials had to kind of jog over, went into the first row of seats, but there was nobody over there, so had to go pick it up. Full court press into Osmond just in front of the half court lot. Now, Tori Osmond takes it into the front court. She's looked strong and confident today. The numbers bear that out. Good minutes from the in-cloud and Tori Osmond tonight. Ian Holly, uh, Holly at the top, bounces to Allen on the right elbow. Out of Osmond, comes left around the screen, inside to Nia Holly, all by herself. Oh, and she missed the bunny layup. That was a big issue for MSU yesterday, and then Jenna Allen a foul underneath her second. But the missed layups and the shots from essentially within the restricted area was a devastating issue for Michigan State yesterday, and just a four-point loss against NC State. And we'll see an easy lay and not fall for Nia Holly there. What a great find for Tori Osmond. Bonnie Johnson at the top, throws over to the left wing. Back to Johnson, over the top, Kamaya uh, Street. Get past the left wing, Johnson. Down to Street at the top, 10 to shoot. Around to Kate Head, right wing, into the post pool. And she gets stripped by Nia Holly, and then Osmond picks it up. Tori up ahead to Cloudon, makes a tough catch and draws the foul. Great hustle, great work by Nia Cloud, and that was a beautiful pass by Tori Osmond. Really two very strong passes and finds by Tori on the last two possessions. Second foul on Amani Johnson, and Nia Cloud will go to the line looking to add to her career high, sitting at 16 points now. First free throw for Cloudon is good. Well, if we see uh, some extended time missed by Shea Colley after that knee injury suffered earlier today, yeah, Cloudon's going to have to step up and find some consistency. Knocks this free throw down. Seen some good minutes from her today, up to 18 points now. 18 points in 25 minutes for Nia Cloudon. MSU up 57-27 with 95 seconds to go in the third quarter, and a block and foul by Nia Holly trying to knock it out of the hands of Alexis Poole. Third foul, uh, Nia Holly. Alexis Poole heading to the line. Preseason all-conference member. Sophomore was a part of the Conference All-Freshman team last year. First free throw is no good. <laughs> she was averaging 10 points, eight rebounds a game last year at seven double-doubles in that strong season. 13 points, eight boards so far. This season is the average. She's got a team high 11 points. Free throw is up, that's short. She missed them both. And Sydney Cooks and the Spartans have the rebound. 30-point lead for MSU. Out and into the front court, dribbles into the lane, hand off to Allen, and she lays it in uncontested on the right side. Terrific find by Nia Cloud. That's her fourth assist tonight. 59-27, Michigan State in front. Out to pull at the top, drives into the lane, puts up a tough off, uh, kind of awkward angle shot. It came up short. Sydney Cooks helped adjust the shot with her defense. Under minutes to play in the third. Osmond to Allen, right baseline jumper, short, and the rebound grabbed by Kennesaw State. Johnson at the top, goes to the right wing, now toss into Poole, 
And her shot over Allen is no good. And Allen the rebound. And a whistle as Victoria Gaines comes in. And Sydney Cook slipping off a little bit here. Seems to be favoring that right ankle. That was what that whistle was for. And she's been battling an Achilles injury on the, that right ankle. And she just looks frustrated right now, kind of tossing her hands up, talking to Luann Jefferson. I well, hope you didn't just lose two players in this game for Michigan State. Sydney Cook's already down. Sydney just shaking her head right now, not really getting inspected by Luann. Eight to shoot, here's Gaines with a three. That's good. Victoria Gaines knocks it down for the right corner. She's into double figures with 10 points. 62-27 lead for MSU with 10 seconds to go in the third. Johnson out to the right wing, now comes back to, left, uh, to her the left side, and she banks it off the window right at the end of the third quarter. Osmond will not put up the half court heave, and that's uh, the third quarter will come to a close. Michigan State in front today, 62-29 against Kennesaw State. Back after this timeout on the Spartan Network. Michigan State in front, 62-29 uh, over Kennesaw State today. Jenna Allen to the line, she's got seven points today. Need some more minutes out of Allen tonight. Free throw is good. Because he's still looking for some more consistency from the senior, so she's at 19, uh, 19 minutes right now, and although it's a lopsided game, I bet we still see her for another few here in the fourth. Second free throw is good, or maybe not. Nadi Tombo checking in for Jenna, so maybe Jenna is done. So Spartans have Mia Cloudon, Tori Osmond, Mia Holly, Victoria Gaines, and Nadi Tombo on the floor. So still two starters on the floor for Michigan State, up 64-29. 9.35 to go in the fourth. Lob to the right elbow. That's off into the post. Layup good, and a foul on Gaines. Fourth foul on Gaines. Spartan shooting 52% from the field today. Racked up 14 steals, five of them uh, came from Taryn McCutcheon. James heads off the floor now. She might be done for the night. Claire Hendrickson uh, takes over. Lexi Mann at the line. And that free throw is no good. Dombo the rebound, tosses ahead to Nia Holland. Mia Cloud near the half court line. Over to Nia Holly, left wing. Tombo, right corner. And off to Cloud, who's big screen, an illegal screen set by Nati Dombo. Six 
64-31, Michigan State on top, 9.06 to go in the ball game. It's a man inbounds to Kamaya Street. Takes it up, top of the key, best pass to the right wing. Lob into the post, catch made by Poole. She goes up and lays it short, rimmed away, in way too deep here. And then loses the pass, loose on the deck, bodies diving for it, and a jump ball forced. Claire Hendrickson laying out for it. Session will stay with Kennesaw State. Johnson inbounds out to street in the right wing. Now drives on Dombo, double team help from Osmond, and Osmond will get credit for the steal. Pushed ahead, Osmond can't quite get there. You know, Holly tried to throw it ahead in transition, just out of the reach. Spartans have uh, right now three players in double figures. They've actually had four players in double figures in each of the first four games this year. Got two more players with nine points apiece in Allen and Cooks, although Cooks will not be back into this game. Foul underneath. That's charged to Tori Osmond, her third. Cooks uh, now has her right ankle getting ice. Battling that Achilles injury. That slowed her down early this season. And as mentioned, Shea going down three minutes into this game. Nice rest for Taryn McCutcheon today. 25 minutes in this ball game. That's got to feel like a night off for Taryn. Been averaging almost 40 minutes a game in her career. First free throw is good for Poole. Next free throw is good. Poole hits them both. 64-33. Michigan State on top with 8.20 to go in the ball game. Plowed into the front court. And then Nia Holly on the right wing. And the Osmond into the post. Dombo back to the basket. Spin, swarmed, and draws a foul. That triple team. on Isis Walker. Spartans will inbound underneath their own basket. Out to Dombo on the right wing, then to Osmond at the top of the key. Give it to Hendrickson. Back to Osmond. Here's a right wing three. Book it. Dory Osmond, a career high 13 points. Having her best game uh, of the young season in her young career. MSU up 67-33. Out to street. Out to the right wing, and then to the top for Poole. Toss into the corner, Johnson. And she draws a foul on Tori Osmond, her fourth. Seven forty-one to go in the fourth quarter. Michigan State up 67-33. Toss up on the right block, no good offensive board, and that's through for Alexis Poole. Nia Cloudon near just across the half court line. Toss to Tori Osmond, she curls to the elbow, comes around a down bow screen, triggers the two, short off the iron. Got, got her own rebound out at the top of the key, into Dombo, out to Cloudon, and then to Osmond. The Spartans will reset. Cloudon to Nia Holly on the left wing, and Tori Osmond. To the left elbow, Dombo. She drives on the left baseline, or the left side of the lane, missed the layup, but draws the foul. Dombo will go to the line. Nati Dombo at the line, got her first career points in her last game, which was not yesterday, didn't play yesterday, but at home against Wright State. First free throw is no good. Tori Gaines back into the ball game for Michigan State. Tori Osmond gets a hard-earned rest. 13 points for Tori. 
Five of nine from the field, two of five from the three-point line. She's got four rebounds, two assists, three steals, and a block. That free throw is good for Nati Dumbo. Also of note today for Michigan State, Mardrika Cook did not dress. Didn't see anything happen yesterday. We know she's battled injuries, particularly to her legs throughout her career. Wouldn't expect that to be something that's too serious, but it's another one of those nagging injuries for Michigan State. Toss into the right corner, tipped into uh, out of bounds territory by Victoria Gaines. 10 seconds to shoot here for Kennesaw State. MSU up 68-35. Inbound out to the right wing, hand off to Johnson. Six to shoot. Johnson drives right, pulls up the elbow, puts up a jumper, got it. Monty Johnson's come back to life in the second half. She's got 10 points all since the break. 68-37, Michigan State on top. 6-13 to go in the ball game. Gains on the right wing. Out to Hendrickson, left side. Now she drives and draws a foul. That's out of Monty Johnson, her third. Kayla Belly in the game. And she checks in for Victoria Gaines. Inbounds pass, knocked free and across the baseline. It'll stay with Michigan State. And that ball has gotten underneath the aluminum bleachers behind the baseline. A member of our uh, tournament crew has to go get it. He's had to go through a tarp that was behind it and crawl all the way underneath the bleachers. Kind of kicked it out underneath the steps to another one of our tournament officials. Great teamwork, guys. 6.06 left in the ballgame. Here's Nia Holly from 17. Missed the jumper. Rebound grabbed by Kennesaw State. 106 to play in this one. Johnson over to the left wing for Walker. Drives the baseline, kicks into the corner. Another pass to the top. Here's a three. No good. Rebound tipped out. Lexi Mann gets it. Goes back up and knocks it down. Draws the foul on Kayla Bellis, her third. Trying to complete the three-point play. And she misses just off to the right. Caleb Ellis brings down the rebound. Spartans up 68-39. They've led today by as much as 35 points. Cloud backs it out. Now comes left around a screen. Out to Nia Holly on the left wing. Into the mid-post. Dombo, she tried to find Bellis, but threw it off the rim. A turnover by Michigan State. Now the drive, a block by Nia Cloud, and that goes out of bounds. And that to the grab bag of stats from Nia Cloud today. 18 points for Cloud, three boards, six assists, two steals. And now her first block. Bob out to the left wing, called in by Amani Johnson. Shot up, that's no good. The Spartans grab the rebound. Bowden calls out the play, reaching her right hand up over her shoulder. Now drives to the right block, lays it up. No good. Dombo to put back no and draws a foul. So Nati Dombo back to the line as Kamaya Street picks up her third foul. Kamaya Street there, leading score. Two points today. Actually, that was on Johnson, not Street. My mistake. Fourth foul on Amani Johnson. The free throw from Dombo is good. Spartans back up by 30. Next free throw. That's through as well. Dombo hits them both. <laughs> Kennesaw State with the basketball moving from right to left. Street out on the right wing. Get past to Johnson on the left wing. Back to Street topside. Now 
Bounce pass into the mid post man. Up to the top. Here's a drive. Bell and Poole gets it up. That's no good. And it's knocked out of bounds. And it not only sad the defense, and that will stay, the ball will stay with the Kennesaw State. Spartans up 70 to 39 over the Owls. Back after this on the Spartan Network. Been led by Nia Clouton, 18 points on six of nine shooting. Here's the inbounds pass. Kennesaw State working with a basketball. Shot up and through for Alexis Poole. Alexis Poole has been the offensive leader for Kennesaw State today with 17 points. And an offensive foul. That's on Kayla Bellis, her fourth. We built the best team in the insurance industry to make sure we're there when you need us most. Find your local independent agent today at auto-owners.com. Johnson flings to the top of the key for Street. Bob into the mid post. That's not free, loose, recovered by Kennesaw State, but with only 10 seconds on the shot clock. Here's Street to the elbow, pulls up with a jumper. I think Bella's got a piece of it, looks like a block, and it comes up short. Now pushed ahead to Dumbo, run to the rim. With the right hand, missed the layup. Bellis to put back, that's good. First career bucket for Kayla Bellis. <laughs> Kennesaw State with the ball down, 72-41, 3.35 to go in the ball game. Johnson flings it up to the top of the key. Bob into the right post. Poole gets around Bellis, lays it up no good, and it's chipped out of bounds, staying with uh, Kennesaw State. MSU Healthcare reminds you that early detection saves lives. Call today to schedule a mammogram at our Women's Imaging Center. Who will save lives? Spartans will. Johnson ready to inbound, tosses it out to the left wing, back to Johnson, her three. Too strong, airballed it. Offensive board, then knocked out of bounds, and staying with Kennesaw State. Still mopping things up underneath the, the hoop. And now we're ready to go. Monty Johnson ready to inbound. Bounce pass in the post, pool. Plays it up, no good. Rebound by Poole, back up, and a foul. Alexis Poole will head up to the line. A foul on Tori Osmond. No. Uh, they called on Claire. Officially put up three, but uh, nobody with the number three on the roster. 
It is on Claire Hendrickson, her first. Poole's first free throw is good. 18 points for Alexis Poole against the Spartans. Next free throw is good as well. 19 points for Alexis Poole. Pressure here in the backcourt by uh, Kennesaw State. State but Spartans break it. Claire Hendrickson gets the rack, misses the layup, and the rebound grab by the Owls. Three minutes remaining in the ball game. Johnson out on the right wing, throws it up to the top street, around to the left corner. Here's a three ball. That's good. Left at the bottom of the net from Brianna Hoover. She's got seven today. It's her first three point field goal of the season. Anderson drives, gets to the left block, and draws a foul. Claire Hendrickson heading to the line. So far today, Claire looking for her first points. A long road back, she's battled so many injuries throughout her high school career. That ACL, ACL injuries in three consecutive seasons as she knocks down the first of two free throws. Tore her ACL last year in the first official practice. Next free throw is no good, the rebound tipped out. And it will go out of bounds over the sideline. It'll be Kennesaw State basketball. Michigan State in front, 73-46, with 2.40 to go in the ball game. Michigan State eyeing a 4-1 start. Three down the right wing. Cross to the top, around to the left wing, Johnson. Back up to the top, then into the corner. Here's a three. That's good. Brianna Hoover knocking down a couple of threes. 73-49. Michigan State on top, two and a quarter to go in the ball game. Corey Osmond drives to the left block, draws a foul, and will go to the line looking to add to her first double-digit scoring game. Sitting at 13 points, five of nine from the field. Osmond and Cloudon been the stars today for Michigan State. Cloud on the bench now with her career high 18 points. Here's the free throw. That's good. 14 points for Tori Osmond. She's come in with seven total in her first three collegiate games. This free throw is good as well. By far a new career high in minutes played as well. At about 25 now. And Hoover loses the ball off her knee, and it's Spartan basketball. Troy Osmond with the ball. Takes it to the right wing. Crosses over, left around the screen. Pops for three. That's short. Rebound grab by Kennesaw State. Toss over the left wing streets. Bounce into the post. Poole tosses it out in the left corner. Back to Poole, working on Bellis. And a foul, no travel. Travel on uh, Alexis Poole. MSU women's basketball is brought to you in part by Tim Hortons. Visit your neighborhood, Tim Hortons. 75-49, Michigan State in front. Just under 90 seconds to play in the ball game. Hendrickson left around a screen. She pulls up at the free throw line, misses the jumper, and Lexi Mann has the rebound. 75 seconds left in this one. Michigan State will start this season four and one. Kennesaw State will fall to two and five. Toss into the right corner. Here's a three. That's no good. The rebound tips and knocked out of bounds. Last touch by Kennesaw State. Now just 62 seconds left in the Spartans Cancun Challenge appearance. Back home for a ball game against Virginia. The Cavaliers come to the President Center on Wednesday. A 7 o'clock tip-off. Mo, Mo Gerhardt and I will have that call at 6.45. Osmond at the top. Gives to Nadi Dombo, left circle. Hand off back to Osmond. Pass to her right. Back left around the screen. 
Fired into the corner for Hendrickson. And her pass, Aaron, intended for Dombo. Turnover by MSU. That is their 19th. Spartans want to clean that up. They also have 15 steals. They forced uh, 25 turnovers by Kennesaw. 32 seconds left in this one. Michigan State up 75-49. Poole steps through two defenders and lays it in. Alexis Poole to 21 points. Shot clock off. Spartans couldn't let it wind down. Still a little pressure here on Tori Osmond out on the right sideline by Hoover. Left around a screen to the top over to Bellis. Steps inside. Lost the handle on it. Loose on the deck. Dombo puts it up. Throws it up. No good. Rebound loose and out of bounds. 6.8 to go, and the Spartans can let this one wind out. Though well, there was still full pressure defense there from Kennesaw State. That's why the Spartans took that shot. And now Hoover stays back, and the buzzer will sound here in a moment. And the Spartans win. MSU defeats Kennesaw State today, 75-51. They get three players in the double figures, including two career high from some freshmen. Mia Cloud with 18, Tori Osmond with 15 today. So Michigan State winning 75-51 over Kennesaw State. All right, we'll step aside and be back with our Farm Bureau Insurance Spartan Post Game Show after this on the Spartan Network. 